Richmond, and our quick lesson in lean for today is getting your Gemba on. And I'm Dirk Ducharme. You know, Mike, Gemba is actually a very easy concept to understand, but for a wide variety of reasons, it seems to be difficult to deploy in an organization. Gemba means going to the actual place. We go to the actual place to learn, to teach, to coach, to see waste. Many people claim they perform Gemba walks all the time because they stroll the shop floor or the office or hospital rooms every day and talk to the people. Sometimes they even have meetings at the Gemba with visual boards. So what happens is that we think we're at the Gemba, and maybe we are, but we're not necessarily doing a Gemba walk. You can almost say that Gemba walking is really learning the skill of intensely seeing the truth of the process. And this is part of the reason why lots of people don't get the concept of going to the Gemba. One especially important part of this is to show respect as we watch the process and question employees. Don't do what this guy does. So you're telling me, for this part, you've got to print out the drawings and get them from over there. And then you've got to retrieve the traveler from the supervisor's office, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to do this how many times a day? It varies, but maybe four or eight times a day. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Why are you doing that? I mean, that's so wasteful. Why don't you just move the printers over here and have the traveler stored right here? I don't know. <laughs> OK? I'm not the boss. However, that does not mean that a Gemba Walker shouldn't be forthright, direct, and unabashed, especially with upper management. With the frontline workers, though, you want to be especially careful. You should thank them and ask for their opinions and ideas in a respectful manner because many of them have a history of being treated disrespectfully and blamed for everything by past supervisors. And uh, I'll, maybe I'll occasionally I'll, I might ask you some questions. Um, and I'm really just asking about you know the potential waste in the in, in the process, so that you know maybe you have some ideas about how we can get rid of the waste or, or mistake-proof it. Uh, so, do you mind if I do that for a little bit? Sure. All right, so go ahead and I might occasionally ask you a question, but just do what you're doing and I'll ask. All right. Now that's a great example of the right way to walk the Gemba. Okay, so let's close by briefly summarizing the key points to performing an effective Gemba walk. Respect the employee. Watch and see the process with your own eyes. 